internet. My name is Tipsy Villain because I enjoy consuming adult beverages and then playing video games. And welcome to part two of Catacresis. Okay. I looked up the word catacresis on Wikipedia, and it means like, well, it's a, it's a literary term. It can mean a variety of things. It's, it's basically when you use any, it's basically refers to a variety of situations in which you can use a word wrong. Uh, well, wrong. For example, like, you have like, it's euphemisms, like, if you said, uh, the graveyard is inhabited by dead bodies, that would be a catacresis. Uh, yeah. I don't know. So basically, using words wrong. So I feel like maybe, maybe this game is one of those games where you can't trust what people say. We'll see. I don't know. I'm just speculating at this point. Just try to figure things out! <sighs> so you heard the news. Rough stuff, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It is. Uh, don't worry about it, pal. Your handlebar mustache can handle everything! That's why it's called a handlebar, because it handles! You can always say no, Jeff. You can always walk away. No, oh, fuck you. We haven't had an emergency in 13 years. One reason for that is luck. Pure luck. Why am I talking like this? The other reason is that we refuse to let it happen. No one recovers from an emergency. There's no getting over it. It never stops weighing on you. <gasps> Aha! Uh -huh. I figured it out! Cause I'm so smart! Emergency is a catacresis. It's a euphemism. It's, it means something else. It's something you can't come back from. Believe me. So I can't walk away. I'll do everything that I can to prevent that from happening. I've already seen it once. That's too many times for one person. Twice is unthinkable. Ellipses. What do you have for me, Terrence? Anything? Or am I just going in there to wait for something to snatch my off my head? Well, between Kevin, Laura, and the archivists, I have been able to pull some texts that might be helpful for you. Did you pick up anything in the warehouse that might give us more clues about this whole thing? This ring and this bone, but if Laura is right, every paranormal artifact and creature in a hundred miles is on the way. These objects are just as alive as any banshee or zombie. They're all coming. The symbols on this bone, the etchings on this ring. I don't think any weapons or gadgets for you. There's literally nothing you can do if these artifacts are what I think they are. But there is some stuff on the danger cart. Knowledge might be the only thing that can save you tonight. Make sure you read the book on the top of the stack. Thanks, Terrence. I'll see you on the other side. You mean later? That's what I said. Did I summon the monsters? Did I? I guess they think I should have a look at these books. Ugh, language textbooks, why? Ugh, I hate books, I'm so... I don't like books. You can't read, never learned. Ugh. Where, wait, here we go, something written by the Mesmeric Order. I like them. The preface to the book says that they were all wiped out in a last-ditch effort to stamp out an ancient order of doomsday ascetics. That's scary, one might say. It is... Hmm, so the situation looks a lot like the one we're dealing with tonight. 200 years ago, a similar event happened in Dusseldorf, but they nipped it in the bud. The descriptions of what the bodies looked like afterward, they don't leave anything to the imagination. And they should leave stuff up to the imagination. What you imagine is always scarier than what's really there. Cough, water lurker, cough. Okay, I definitely don't want to end up like those guys, so I be guess I better go to it. Anything else I need to read? Do I have an option to flee? No. Okay. Ugh. Let me slap your ass, pal. Oh, yeah. I love slapping asses. Oh, Jeff wants to slap him some asses. Hey, baby. You and I are getting together after this. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Let me just squeeze those buns. Hey, baby. How's it going? Okay. I need to stop dilly dallying and be on my way. Hello, Scratches, can I slap your ass? Is there an imaginary being whose ass I can slap? Jeff needs to slap some action! I, I mean... Bleh. Jeff needs to get some action! Slap some asses before he gets into the unknown! He might never have a chance to slap asses again! <sighs> 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 
you will be visited. A triumvirate of flesh and feather and fur. Judged by Ma and Qua and Beak, the prophecy of the Roiling Horde cannot be turned. It was written on the hearts of a thousand of Hell's finest warriors. It was scribed from the guttural moans of every dying denizen of Hyperborea. There is no escape from this. Techniques etched into time itself prevent me from touching you now. So I can't slap your ass? Know this. It is coming. It has been foretold. Okay, sure thing, pal. Sure thing, pal. Mm. Here, let me save. And slap the door's ass. Woot. Can I actually die in this game? Because, I mean, it doesn't sound like I'm making any choices. Do I know the computer password now? Is this building changed? Nope. Nope. Everything's the same. Can't interact with the wall. Nothing there. Blah. There. Nothing over here. Anything else in here? No. Now the computer screen is just scrolling through random numbers and letters. Wait, I've never seen most of these symbols. Hello, Jeff. Oh my god, it's bleeding. <laughs> That's hilarious. What the hell are you? This is not hell, Jeff, but it can be in time. What information do you wish to know? I can tell you how you will die. I can tell you what color the sky will turn right before the end. You will see all of these things soon enough. I need not tell you of them. It is written in the sky, beyond the sky, on the waves of the ocean of time. Can I go surfing on the waves of the ocean of time? I have always wanted to try surfing. And there's a wagon wheel in the sky that turns into eternal blah blah blah. You know you're not the only possessed computer I've ever met, right? You all play this predictive analysis game like I'm supposed to be impressed that a demon inside of a computer can tell me things. I have lived in fire and ice since the moment your puny planet formed from du- Yeah, I know all about it. Listen. I know there's a path here somewhere and you're probably the only thing between me and it. Can't you just do me a favor and, you know, let me through here? I have crushed saints and swordsmen beneath my hoof. I personally drive Perlane the Anchor to Hell with a rope loop through his jaw. You wish to best me, Jeff? You may have power, but on this night, you are less than nothing. I have been told I cannot touch you, and I will respect the wishes of my master, but I do not have to help you. I will watch you die here. No one has ever suggested that a demon wasn't dramatic enough. Alright, what is the best? I've got it. Prolane the Anchor, huh? That means they call you Laron. Prolane's great-granddaughter cast you into a beehive in 1621. Then she burned you. I will admit that I have always had a weakness for swarming. But that also means that your real name is Fal Un Ren. Egyptologists loved you, and you showed up to devour the... Oh. Somebody. Can I go back? Okay, no. Ah, fan. I will admit that I did find London lovely. Of course you did. It was a prosperous time for your people. We did well. I also know that that isn't your real name, Krun Kal. How did you? Goodbye, Krun. Revit I Stiker. No! Oh, jeez. So dramatic. Gosh. What a jerk. I know, right? Okay. What will I find down here? Creepy sounds! Anything else? I don't know. I'll never know. Seriously? Now this game has a quite a bit of walking. 
quite a bit of walking. I'm really stretching my gams. Uh... Terrence, can you hear me? Jeff... J barely... You... Off the map. Tracking you. Satellite? Is it interference? Mongolia. The lights are off and I didn't do it. I can't feel the magic. I feel empty. Try get underground further away. Nexus Terrence? Terrence! Okay. I'll just keep walking then. Oh, I feel so empty and alone. Uh. Uh. Kevin? Oh, I knew you were up to something, Kevin. How did you get down here? <gasps> or maybe that isn't Kevin. Please tell me you have Linda. Okay, so was her Nora name Laura or Linda? I'm confused. I thought it was Linda, but. Are you afraid of the moon, Jeff? Are you afraid of what it brings? What the hell are you talking about, Kevin? Where is everyone? I've watched the tide go out under that sinking, stinking moon. The dead city gleamed in the moonlight. <gasps> the dead city of Roulet? I thought it was underwater. I've said all this before. I have touched all this before. Kevin, how did you get here? We will build a pyro that will light the sky. The popping fat of a million of your fallen species will call the true dark from beyond the void. When it shatters, you will know the crack formed here. If only I could touch you. If only you were not under that veil. Veil? I don't know, pal. We've been doing a lot of touching. Me, my hand to your ass. If only I could tear you apart! Get away from me! Guess, uh, naked, sexy fun times with Kevin are off. Kevin, you dick! Why did you get me into this shit? Ugh. There are patterns on the wall. And weird tentacles. <gasps> are those the ephemeral tentacles I've heard so much about? Ugh. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, caress me with your... Technically, goodness, oh, oh, so good, go What? What? So I guess this is the part where Jeff just gave up and started doing acid. Oh! How did I get? I'll just lie here for a little while. Maybe I'll just die. No, no, Jeff, don't think like that. I'll just stay here and rot and get my soul sucked up into a kind of spirit prison. That sounds... That's what I'll do. The developer of this game would like you to please sigh out loud. Use your full lung capacity. Thank you for embracing the interactivity of this medium and therefore making this art better in some small way. Okay. <sighs> There it didn't make you happy, developer. I can't just die here. They're depending on me. I have to get up. They'll put me on the wall of shame if I don't get up. I'll probably be trapped in a crystal prison for all eternity, and then on top of it, the new recruits will point at my awful security ID photo and laugh. They're still counting on me. Laura and Kevin need me to find out what's causing all of this. Okay, so the guy back there wasn't really Kevin. Ah, go figure. So what if I fell through an abyss where the misshapen horrors that flip between the real and the unimaginable rust their heads? Two years ago, I saw a Sumerian statue crack in half and release a gas that summoned a crocodile god that swallowed me whole. I made it through that. I can make it through anything. Yeah, Jeff! That's the spirit! You go, guy! There probably won't be more wall tentacles. 
That's a pity. I like the wall tentacles. That passage had 500% more wall tentacles than most any other location I've been to. What are the chances of seeing more? Slim, I bet. I bet you're wrong, Jeff. Okay. Oh, hey, it's you again. The chances are not slim at all. Great. All right, up and at him. This samurai mystery won't walk itself. Oh, yeah. Oh, skip merrily. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna skip merrily through this meadow. Uh, why don't I but save before I go through this? J Jeff! I thought I was out of range. Where am I? You were out of range. We had you, you pinging all over the world at one point. From what I can tell, you were delocalized. No way. I didn't feel that way at all. It was all so... Real. Believe what you want, but I'm pretty sure that your spirit was all over the world. Your body probably just floated down the sewer and out that pipe or whatever. Ha! <laughs> sewer. That's comforting. Sorry. Can you at least tell me where I am now? That is, unless this is some kind of post-death hallucination in which I am living out my fantasy of mission success while I'm in the afterlife or perhaps purgatory. Well, let me check the- the purgatorium levels are resting at 3.22, which is cubicle level. Oh, that's clever. That's clever. You're a clever boy, uh... You, Terrence? I remember his name. You're probably in the- you're probably in the real world. Good, so where am I? You're about half a kilometer away from the warehouse. You're deeper inside the block than you were before. The interference is down from what it was before, but the dead winds are picking back up. There's a store in front of you. One of the emanating sources is coming from there, and Laura thinks there might be something underground there. It could be a delivery gone wrong. We've been checking shipping manifests, and the owner received several mysterious packages from all over the world recently. Or the owner could collect exotic cutlery. Who knows? It's worth checking out in any case. Listen, enter. Interference is picking up. Oh, not this again. We've sent park team. Watch for she always flesh war clock tentacles. Terrence, Terrence, are you there? Well, that sounded awful. Okay, yes, it did. Yes, it did, pal. It most certainly doodly doodly did. And on the note of something bad might be happening, I am going to cut this episode. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Tipsy Villain, and this was Catacresis. If you liked what you saw, click like or subscribe, and be sure to tell all your friends about me on your social media account. If you didn't like what you saw, Tell no 